color with your environment. Find out who you are and let it stay its true color. I don't think I could live up to be old enough or wise enough to write something that profound. I'm amazed at the wisdom that comes from young people. And uh, Rachel was talking about peer pressure. She was talking about not letting people around us determine our actions, to prevent us from doing things we know we should, or to get us to do things we know we shouldn't. And she didn't just write about this, she reached out to three groups at her school on a regular basis. We found this out from all of her friends. She wrote about it in her diary. She said, I want to reach out to those with special needs because they're often overlooked. I want to reach out to those that are new at school because they don't have friends yet. And I want to reach out to those that are picked on or put down by others. And at her funeral, we begin to hear story after story after story after story from young people that we would have never heard. I wish stories that we had never heard. But at her funeral, we heard so many stories from these young people that she did reach out to. One of them was a young girl by the name of Amber. And Amber told us that she was the new kid at school a year before Rachel died, 1998. She had moved in with her brothers and her dad from Atlanta, Georgia. She said, it was my first day at school. I didn't know anyone. I walked down the halls. People ignored me. I didn't. No one made eye contact with me. I went into the cafeteria at lunchtime. And there were some girls sitting in the center of the cafeteria. I walked over and asked if I could sit with them. And they ended up making fun of me. They got up and left. And I was humiliated. I'm sitting in the middle of the cafeteria. Everybody's looking at me. These girls had just bullied me. And my mom had just died. No one knew that. My mom had just died in a car accident a month earlier. And no one in the cafeteria knew that. And she said, your daughter sat two tables away with some of her friends. And she said, Rachel picked up on my vibes. And she got up and left her friends in front of everyone. Came over and asked if she could join me for lunch. She said, instantly, my worst day at school became one of my best days at school. Because one person chose to go out of her way to show compassion. Rachel never bragged about what she did to our family. We would have never heard that story except for Amber. And Rachel died a few months later, not realizing that that simple story would be put into a movie and win first place in New York City's Tribeca Film Festival, hosted by Robert De Niro, be seen by 27 million people within three weeks. She didn't know that that same act of kindness would be picked up by one of our partners, the Foundation for a Better Life. You see their billboards and airports around the world, and on television, their ads, uh, their PR ads. And they took the story of Rachel and turned it into a television commercial many of you have seen. And the next time you see this, you'll, you'll know the story behind it. Give him an encouraging word, 
And we found out that she went to her friends and told all of her friends, you know, Adam needs a friend. Why don't you just say hi to him? Just, just encourage him, that's all. You don't have to marry him. You don't have to be his best friend. But just say a word hi to him. Let him know that you care. Well, here's the part of that story that no one knew. That Rachel died not knowing. Adam was crying when he told us the story. Tears running down his face. He said, Mr. Scott, what Rachel died two months later not knowing was that she saved my life from suicide because I was planning to take my life. I felt like nobody cared whether I lived or died. And when she stood up for me that day and she got her friends to be my friends, I changed my mind about taking my life. I'm so glad that my daughter practiced what she wrote about. She went out of her way to show compassion. Adam is not the only one. Over the last 14 years, we've seen roughly a thousand lives saved because of Rachel's story from suicide. Over the last two years, over 500 of those, and here's just a few of them. 